wintry mix in the forecast forces Worcester Public Schools to close early as residents prepare for the storm. Plus, a popular light display in Leicester is back this year thanks to help from the community. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. Just three days to go until Christmas, and if you're still looking get to get into that holiday spirit, the Weichel's Christmas light display in Leicester might just do the trick. The display features more than 50,000 Christmas lights and 200 inflatable decorations. Scott and Denise Weichel have been decorating their home for over 20 years, and each year it's grown bigger and has gotten more attention. Last year they weren't able to run their annual display because they didn't have the funds to pay for a police detail. This year, with the help from the community, they were able to raise enough funds to provide for that police raised detail. $8,000 with a couple uh, businesses in town do donating generously. A diner in town did a uh, fundraising for us. Uh, top, uh, businesses in town donated a gift certificate. So it, it's become a community thing. It's going to sound corny, but when a yard is full of people, it truly is magical what goes on down here. Scott and Denise say they hope to keep the lighting display up through the new year as long as weather permits. As far as the future, they say they plan to continue this tradition for as long as they can. Central Massachusetts is expected to see snow and freezing rain leading into the Christmas holiday. Worcester Public Schools closed early Friday due to potentially hazardous driving conditions. Our Rosalind Flaherty has more on how people are preparing for the weather. According to the National Weather Service, freezing rain will result in hazardous driving conditions. They are encouraging people to drive slow and use caution. And people we spoke with today say they are ready for the weather. I'm going to go sledding and throw snowballs. Six-year-old Kaylin Moran eagerly awaits the winter weather conditions Central Massachusetts is expected to see this weekend. She and other Worcester Public School students were dismissed two hours early Friday. I can have more time. At home. According to the National Weather Service, Worcester is in a winter weather advisory until Saturday. I don't want to get anyone getting hurt with the ice and stuff. At Jerry's Hardware, owner Tom Pacina says they've been very busy selling ice melt as people prepare. It's flying out of here. and We're getting it in as fast as we can get in. It's going right out the door. Paul Brophy picked up a bag and says he's worried about the icy conditions ruining his holiday travel plans. Can't travel as far as we want to. Family and friends, you know, scattered around between Lemons and Fitchburg, Barry. But others are embracing it. Amy Scott bought a few sleds for her family, hoping to ride out the weather. Right now we just have two little small ones, you know, just real, real, real small. So they're going to be really happy to spread out on these, and um, I'm going to be able to fit on it also. The National Weather Service is forecasting about two to five inches of snow from Sunday into Monday, which means we may have a white Christmas. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight. Switching gears, a Worcester County grand jury handed up a manslaughter indictment Friday in the robbery death of a city man. Samson Beauregard is charged in the May death of Day Ha. Ha passed away five days after he was assaulted and robbed on Mount Pleasant Street. He was struck in the head from behind while walking along the street and then robbed and injured. Beauregard is currently being held without bail at the Essex County House of Corrections on an unrelated probation matter and is scheduled to be arraigned in Worcester Superior Court in January. A grand jury also indicting two people Friday in an October crash, killing a Spencer woman. Andrew Ledoux of Worcester was Worcester. indicted on multiple charges, including motor vehicle homicide. Ledoux was the driver in a single car crash on the Mass Pike Turnpike that killed Ashley Sheehan. Gina Carreri of Shrewsbury was also indicted on a manslaughter charge. She allegedly pulled on the steering wheel of the SUV, causing it to leave the road and crash into a rock ledge off the side of the highway. Ledoux and Carreri will be arraigned in Worcester Superior Court on a later date. If you're planning to hit the roads this holiday weekend, AAA expects more than 97 million Americans to drive to their destinations this holiday season. According to AAA, nearly 80% of drivers express significant anger, aggression or road rage while behind the wheels at least one time this past year. They're warning drivers to avoid aggression when behind the wheel this weekend. Nearly three in four drivers believe aggressive driving is a bigger problem today than three years ago, while nine out of ten believe aggressive drivers are a serious threat to their personal safety. The holiday shopping season is coming to an end, but it doesn't mean everyone's done buying Christmas gifts for their loved ones. 
Last minute shoppers still have time and many stores are even extending their hours to accommodate them. As our Brittany Schaefer shows us, the Solomon Pond Mall in Marlboro was a popular destination today. Christmas is just three days away and with thousands of shoppers here at the Solomon Pond Mall Friday, it's expected to be one of the busiest shopping weekends of the year. For those people who are last minute shoppers and like pressure, it's on. Shoppers flooded the Solomon Pond Mall Friday and for people like Ken Norsha, last minute shopping is a family tradition. We've been doing it forever. We usually like to wait till uh, toward the end of the, the season because these guys are in school and then when they're out then we can spend the day and I'll take the day off from work and um, just make it something fun. Denorsha was shopping with his four children and they were on the hunt for the perfect gifts for mom. They each get to pick out something for her and mall's good because we can go to a bunch of different stores and try to find exactly what she's looking for. We have extended hours for people um, just to get those last minute gifts for their loved ones. Janice Bolton was out shopping with her grandmother and says this is her first time Christmas shopping this year. This is my first time. This is the first trip and last trip for Christmas shopping this year. So this is the first time I've done that. <laughs> there were also big crowds at the Blackstone shops. Lieutenant Brian Lewis says the Millbury Police Department has eight officers directing traffic to ease the holiday flow. We'll have officers there starting at 11 a.m. today till 7 p.m. tonight and they are approximately five to eight intersections these officers will be at. Last minute shoppers say it can be stressful, but they never lose sight of what Christmas is all about. Uh, it's all about family. It's all about getting together with the kids and the wife. It's great. Happiness. Aww, yeah. it's my favorite time of time. Just to talk to you with your family. so happy to give. Now, as you can see behind me, Santa is still here. So if you haven't gotten your picture taken with Santa yet, it's not too late. He packed his sleigh early just so he could be at the Solomon Pond Mall today and tomorrow. In Marlboro, Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. A Connecticut prep school is launching an investigation into the suicide of a student from Sutton. The Marianapolis Prep School in Thompson has retained a lawyer to review the death of Connor Tronarud. The 15-year-old sophomore took his own life earlier this month. He was allegedly bullied. The Worcester County DA's office is also investigating. Shrewsbury police are investigating and identifying theft and larceny by check incident at a local bank. Police say this identified woman attempted to cash a check with an ID and bank card on Thursday. Police say the cards were not hers and had been stolen from a vehicle broken into Wednesday in Marlboro. The female suspect was operating a gray Kia Sedona. Anyone with information is asked to contact Shrewsbury Police.